In this video I am going to show you how to stop playing like this. And start playing like this. The game has actions binded to keys on our keyboard. These are called hotkeys. By using hotkeys, we are able to spend less time doing small things and more time doing big things. Without the keyboard, we would have to click at least three times for every built farm. With hotkeys, we can reduce this to just the click it takes to place the farm. We only need to issue the build commands via hotkeys once, and then we are able to place just as many farms as we have villagers selected by holding shift. With tooltips enabled, you can at any time find out which hotkey is needed for which command by hovering the mouse cursor over its button. You can also find all your hotkeys by going to the hotkeys tab of options. To start using hotkeys, force yourself to not use your mouse for things which have hotkeys. Only use the cursor to hover for tooltip to view the hotkey you need to use if you need to. This will be slow at first, but with time you will remember and even make a habit out of hotkeys, since you use them so often. That will also mean you'll naturally become faster and you don't need to think to remember every hotkey. Now you know how to start using hotkeys. Stop clicking for things you don't need to click for. If you forget a hotkey, just hover the cursor to check which one it is. The default hotkeys are generally really good, because they employ a grid scheme, meaning the buttons on your command panel will always line up with the keys on your keyboard. There are a few hotkeys which are worth changing however. The first hotkey I would change is one of the most used ones, the Find Idle Villager hotkey, or Cycle to Next Idle Villager. This is by default on the period dot, located on the opposite side of the keyboard from where your hand will likely be. I suggest changing this to any convenient key on the left side. I have put mine on spacebar for instance. I also have control plus spacebar for select all idle villagers. The other hotkeys I would change are the ones for selecting buildings. With the default ones, you have to hold control and then press some key. For instance, control plus L for going to stable. A single key is easier to use than a key combination, so it's not a bad idea to change the most common ones to single key hotkeys. I prefer select all hotkeys when it comes to buildings, so I have put most production buildings to select all on single keys. In the old days, it was not possible to queue units from several buildings at the same time. This is not the case with Definitive Edition. When you select several production buildings and queue units or technologies, whichever selected building has the shortest queue at the moment will add it to its queue. You can also hold shift to queue 5 units at the same time instead of just one. Another benefit of the select all hotkey is that it does not snap your camera unlike the cycle hotkey. So if you were to put select all town centers instead of go to town center on your H, your camera won't snap anymore on top of the fact that you will automatically queue from all of your town centers and of whichever has the shortest queue at the moment instead of just one. These are all just individual preferences in the end of course, and you can change your hotkeys to whatever you like and are most comfortable with. That's all for me, remember to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and leave a comment on what could have been better if you didn't. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.